Welcome to Gaming Trends, the watch list for the week of February 5th through the 11th. My name is Anthony Shelton. Every Saturday, I tell you about the games you need to waste your time on that come out next week. Some games you may know, some you won't, but every game has been researched and has earned a place in the watch list. That doesn't mean you'll end up loving them, but you should give them your time. Every game is timestamped so you can jump into the one you're interested in. Let's get started. This could be the most embarrassing week in video games. I tried, I looked, and there is nothing else that I could recommend you absolutely play except Hogwarts Legacy. I don't say that as if Hogwarts Legacy is the best of the worst, there's just nothing else. Hogwarts Legacy is an action RPG with what looks like some MMO elements or at least shared world elements like Destiny. It's developed by Avalanche Software, not to be confused with Just Cause developer Avalanche Studios, and it's published by Warner Brothers. The description reads, quote, Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open world RPG. Now you can take control of the action and be at the center of your own adventure in the wizarding world, end quote. I never thought I'd be interested in a Harry Potter game, but here we are. This might be the year of getting me into franchises I don't like. First, One Piece Odyssey, now Hogwarts Legacy. This looks fantastic. I can imagine how awesome it must be to be a fan of the series and have these things come to life. And I don't think it would be possible if it weren't for the modern hardware. And I think that's true if you look at the fact that the PS4 and Xbox One versions were delayed. This seems like a huge game and it needs every bit of power in order to make it shine. You're visiting all these areas that are mentioned in the book, you're casting familiar spells, combat looks interesting and like it has some depth, and the character customization looks good enough to have a character have their own identity, not to mention the really big looking open world. It's nice, from top to bottom, this looks like this will be the definitive Harry Potter game. I wouldn't get your hopes too high though. If you've watched the gameplay showcases, the developers try to make everything seem so inventive for Harry Potter. This is going to follow the typical video game open world design. It's not going to do anything particularly special. You're going to accept quests. Other students will randomly talk to you as you walk by. You're going to have specific, predictable combat sequences. This is showing to be as plain as a video game structure as there is. But the difference is you're doing it in the Harry Potter world. So the story will be as important and with it set in a time before Harry Potter was even a thought, there's room to expand on the world. I don't think it will be a perfect game or a perfect Harry Potter game, but I do think it will be worth playing. It's also the only thing worth playing this week, which is a bit unfortunate, but there's always next week. Hogwarts Legacy is launching on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series, and later this year, it is coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. That does it for this week. One game. You have plenty of time to play things now if you're trying to keep up with what's coming this year. So, do you have any games you're looking forward to? Did I miss something? What are your thoughts on Hogwarts Legacy? You know how YouTube works. You know where to comment. Tap whatever thumb you like, but more importantly, subscribe and tap the bell icon so you won't miss the next video dropping next Saturday. I'll talk to you next week.